Night in the quiet town dulled the sounds, turning it into a realm of dreams, but within the walls of the abandoned school lurked something that even the bravest preferred not to encounter. Legends and rumors breathed life every evening, like ancient shadows, pursuing anyone who dared to approach this place. My name was Jack. I was an ordinary guy, unnoticed in the crowd, but that day became a turning point. Through the thick fog and veil of doubts, I decided on a bold decision to venture into the forgotten school to unravel its mysteries. In my backpack were a flashlight, some provisions, and hands trembling with excitement. Approaching the school, I felt the air becoming heavy, as if it itself was stealing the breath from those who boldly stepped onto this forgotten path. A strange feeling of anxiety gripped my heart, but determination suppressed the fear. Crossing the threshold of the abandoned building, I immediately felt that I was not alone here. The walls of the school seemed alive, full of secret whispers and dark, ominous secrets. My flashlight barely penetrated the darkness, as if the darkness itself resisted the intrusion of light. Walking through the corridors, I heard rustles and whispered words, carrying an indescribable horror. But I couldn't stop my curiosity led me forward, even when reason screamed to stay safe. Suddenly, from the darkness on the second floor, a silhouette flashed. My heart froze, then began to beat with a frantic rhythm, as if trying to escape the clutches of fear. But before I could react, the creature vanished, as if dissolved into thin air, leaving only the shadow of an incomprehensible threat. Fear engulfed me in a wave, but I continued to move forward, plunging into the darkness as a fearless explorer of ancient mysteries. Every step was a gift of fate, every creaking tree a voice of the past, warning of the consequences of my curiosity. Finally, I reached the classrooms where darkness seemed to envelop the walls like a dense fabric. My footsteps echoed and my thoughts were filled with questions to which I still didn't have answers. But then I heard something else. They were unusual sounds, like whispers of thousands of ghosts inhabiting these forgotten walls. My heart stopped, and every cell in my body tensed in anticipation of something dreadful. Illuminating with the light of the flashlight, I saw it. A creature emerging from the darkness, like a demon awakened from slumber. Its eyes gleamed in the darkness, and its body twisted as if taking the form of nocturnal nightmares. I stood frozen, praying that it was just an illusion, that my eyes were playing tricks on me, but as it approached, I realized it was real. All strength left my body, and I knew my end had come. But then something happened. The creature froze, as if sensing something supernatural. I turned and saw a figure emerging from the darkness, bathed in light. She stood in the doorway, her eyes emitting light like fire that drove away the darkness. And then I understood. She was my savior. She was an angel sent from heaven to free me from this nightmare. Through the fog of fear and darkness, I heard her voice, filled with tenderness and wisdom. She told me that I dared to enter the world of secrets and fears, but in this world there is also light, a light that can penetrate even the thickest darkness and drive away all menacing shadows. The angel stood before me, framed by light, and her touch filled me with unprecedented strength and confidence. The creature that seemed so terrifying now retreated, as if not daring to resist this strange influence. And when I emerged from the abandoned school, I felt all my fears vanish as if dissipating into the air. I looked back at this dark fortress of the past and saw its shadows dissolve into the night, like frightening dreams that ceased to torment after waking. The next morning I woke up as if from a nightmare, but in my heart remained only light and hope. This adventure left me with a burning desire to explore even more unraveling the mysteries of the world and overcoming fears. The abandoned school became for me not just a place of horrors, but also a place of opportunities, where every corner held its own story and every shadow hid its own secret. And I knew that now my life would be filled with adventures that would make me grow and become stronger every day. So ended my story of the adventure in the abandoned school. And although fear remained in the past, it left me with something more important strength and faith in a bright future that will always wait around the corner, even in the darkest corners of this world.